Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing some more Would You Rather. So if you're going to enjoy, please remember to go down below, like, subscribe, and turn the bell on. Anyway, let's get into it. So as you guys know, I've just been talking a lot lately about how I want to keep things diverse and keep switching up the types of videos that we pump out on the channel. You know, yesterday I did a tier list video. The day before that, we went back and played an older Call of Duty. So I, d I figured today before we went back into the gaming and everything with uh, Season 3 Reloaded of Black Ops Cold War coming out, that we do a Would You Rather since it's been a while since we've done a video like this. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Would you rather be near death or hear everything too? Two minutes later i'd rather just be near death because if you're having a conversation and somebody tells you something funny but then like two minutes later they tell you something really sad by the time by the time that you by the time that they're saying something sad you're laughing at the thing that they said was funny and it'll it, it just it wouldn't be good it wouldn't be good would you rather have squirrels for hands or have guinea pigs for feet i'd rather have squirrels for hands because, you know, when you're shaking somebody's hand, they're always like, you know, if you got soft hands, they're going to comment on it. And if you got squirrel hands, man, be a nice, soft, and furry handshake. Would you rather be in jail for a year or live in complete isolation in the mountains for a year? I would rather live in complete isolation. You want to know why? Because that's already what I do. I live in my room in complete isolation, no human contact. I don't leave my house. I haven't left my house yet in 2021. I sit in this room, and I'm okay with that. In fact, anybody that knows me knows... Uh, I love isolation. I am so introverted. I am a hermit. I hate people. I love you guys. I love, I love, like, don't get me wrong. I love communicating with you guys. I love talking to you guys. You know, one day I want to do, like, a bunch of meet and greets with y'all. But when it comes to just going out in public, I hate people. Would you rather be killed in a Saw movie or be killed in a Final Destination movie? I would rather be killed in a Final Destination movie. Because if you're killed in a Saw movie, I mean, you could really escape it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you really try, you could get past the traps and everything like that. But Final Destination, death comes for us all. And I haven't watched those movies in so long. I need to watch those again. Oh my god. I literally refuse to get on a roller coaster because of Final Destination 3. Oh my god. Dude, oh, those movies are so messed up. I'm trying to think of all the things I fear now because of Final Destination. Um, I fear my stove. I fear giant trucks on the hall on the highway with like logs in the back. I fear roller coasters. I have a obscene fear of uh, bridges now because of that Final Destination 5. I also refuse to get on airplanes. Would you rather fight three bulls at the same time or fight ten bulls one at a time? I would rather just fight uh, three bulls at the same time, get it all over with. Because either way, if I'm fighting a bull, I'm, you guys know me, I'm literally not even 100 pounds. Like, anything that just breathes on me is going to break me as it is. A whole ass bull? Nah, dude. I'm going to get charged by just one of them and die. So, I'd rather just fight all three of them and have them just mangle my corpse it'd probably be a faster death anyway would you rather eat your favorite food for the rest of your life or eat whatever you want but never gain weight i would rather just eat my favorite food for the rest of my life and honestly if i had to eat my favorite food man as of lately that would come down to either like french toast waffles bananas or like peanut butter and jelly something like that dude something real basic would you rather live in a world with no spiders but all other bugs are at their current population or live in a world with only spiders but with a 50 percent increase to their current population um, I would rather just live with no spiders. Would you rather be a male police officer with a high-pitched voice or be a male pol officer? Um, I can't talk. Would you rather be a male police officer with the appearance of an eight-year-old boy? I would, uh, uh dude, I, I, I wish I could do neither, but I'd probably have to go with the eight-year-old boy because, dude, if, if, just think, if you're a police officer and you're chasing a criminal with a high-pitched voice, you're gonna be like, stop! And then they're just gonna be like, huh, dude, your voice, no, that, that, that's hilarious. Then they're just gonna keep running from you. Either that or maybe Maybe they'd like end up getting on the ground from like laughter you know what i'm saying like people say like rolling on the floor laughing so maybe it could help then but what i'm thinking with the eight-year-old boy thing is you know you have the appearance of an eight-year-old boy but you can throw them off guard so that you know they'll, they'll they'll probably do like a thing where they'll be teasing you like what you gonna do little boy but then you like john cena just tackle their ass get them down you know what i'm saying so I'd probably have to go with that one, but it is possible with the high-pitched voice that it could either lead to them continuing to run or getting them to stop in their tracks from laughter. But, like I said, I feel like the appearance of an eight-year-old boy would just work for more scenarios. I thought about that one way too much. Would you rather eat all the carpet in your house or eat all the wood and tiles in your house? I'd rather eat all the carpet because uh, there's no carpet in my house. There is only wood and tiles. Would you rather be hung by a noose or be decapitated? Decapitated. It would be so much quicker. Just a clean slice. Just like a slice in a pizza. Just wah. That's it. Would you rather have a British accent or an Australian? Australian accent. You see, I always try to do these accents, but I don't know what accent it is that I'm actually trying to uh, imitate when I'm talking like this. Uh, it could be a mixture of both, or maybe I'm just doing it entirely wrong. That was actually really bad. I used to be able to do it really good, but I, I, I can't do it anymore. Just forget that happened. Forget that happened. Would you rather speak every language except the language of the country you're currently in, or speak only the language of the country you're in, but know the meaning of every single word in that language? I'd rather just speak the language of the country I'm in, make things so much simpler. 
you rather eat fast food burgers every night or eat Chinese takeout? Chinese takeout, because if you're just eating burgers, that would get boring. But with Chinese takeout, there's so much variety. You got lo mein, General Tso's chicken. You got, like, barbecue chicken. You got, like, uh, rice and, like, lo mein and, like, sugar donuts or whatever those things are. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Would you rather prevent World War II or win a life-changing amount of money in a lottery? No, I can't answer that. I can't. I can't answer that. You know what? The thing is, I you, you, we don't know the people that were in World War II. I feel bad for them. I feel bad for them. But I don't know them. They're six decades before my time. I'm sorry. Would you rather own a horse in the city or own a cat in the country? I would rather own a cat in the country. Pain or annoyance? Would you rather get a paper cut on your hand once a week or have one foot fall asleep every third hour for 30 minutes? I would rather have the foot falling asleep because, you know, it's annoying, but you can you can tolerate it if you don't pay attention to it. Until it gets to that point of where it's asleep, but it's like, it has that pins and needles feeling, I hate that. Would you rather be albino or be a ginger? I mean, there's not much of a difference. One has red hair and one has blonde hair, really. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess I'd rather just kind of be a ginger just so there's more, uh, Color di differentiation, di di differentiation, however you say the words. I'm sorry, I keep jumbling on my words, y'all. I just got back from doing like this stupid freaking like math test for school. I had to drive like half an hour, 45 minutes there, and then the drive back. But then I also had to sit there for like three hours. It was just, it was just not good. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If you were starving, would you rather eat your own hand or eat a loved one's eye? Ooh, ew, uh, need, I'm, ooh, ooh. Eat your own hand because I feel like an eyeball, you, you would bite into it and it would be like a fruit gusher. It would just kind of like, you know, just like, Ugh, dude, that is so fucking gross. All right, this has been going on for a minute. We'll do five more. Would you rather glue your eyes shut with super glue or spill hot glue all over your naked lap? I'd rather spill it all over my naked lap because if I glue my eyes shut, I can't make videos. At least when I make, uh, you know, when I spill hot glue on my legs, I can make a video about it. Would you rather only be able to see the world in a shade of red or barely hear? I'd rather barely hear people when they speak. I fucking hate people. Here are your parents. Would you rather having sex or arguing? Arguing, arguing, arguing. I, I don't even, I no, no, no. Two more to go. Would you rather always be overdressed or always be underdressed? Always be underdressed. Don't dress to impress. Dress to be comfortableness. Okay, this was gonna be the last one, but it's not that good. So we'll do another one or we'll keep going till we get a good one. But would you rather only write in cursive or only type in caps? Only type in caps. Actually, no, I'd only write in cursive. That, cause it looks cool. I like it. And when, you, when you're typing in caps, you know, I, I, I just couldn't imagine doing that. Like when, when you're typing in all caps, nobody takes you seriously. Th this one's fitting for me. If you were to be crippled, would you rather break an arm with a slightly painful infection or break a leg? I've already broken a leg, a broken ankle, not good. We are breaking an arm. In fact, I've done both in my lifetime. In fourth grade, I broke my right arm. In second grade, I sprained my left arm. And then last year, I broke and dislocated my ankle. For those of you that don't know, basically, you, you know how your foot's supposed to face like this way? Well, my foot was backwards and the bone was like right there about to poke through the skin. It was, it was awful. I got surgery on my leg. I got plates and nails and screws in my leg for life now. Uh, yeah, it, it, it wasn't, it, it was gross. To this day, I still haven't fully recovered, so that's something. But with that, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. Please remember to go down below, like, subscribe, comment, and share this with your friends. Remember, I post daily at 7 p.m., so I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, like I said, if the commentary in this video is, like, a bit, I, I like, it, 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 like I'm doing now, like, with the jumble in my words, if that bothered you a bit, I'm sorry. We should be good. Tomorrow, I, I should be back to normal. It's just, with the testing and everything like that, my head's just not there, but I had to make a video. So, here we are. But, yeah, that's it. It's gonna do it for this one. I love you. Peace. I'm all alone. I walk alone.